when the Bible says that God is the God of all flesh, I want you guys to know what that means. That means that first of all, we know that God created flesh for himself, okay? Because spirit needs vessel, all right? So all those who God created, he created for himself. Not for you, not for the devil, okay? But we got a whole bunch of flesh in the world. And so when the Bible says that God is the God of all flesh, that means that when you die, that means that he's the ruler over all flesh. He's the ruler over Satan as well, okay? He's already judged Satan. Satan already been judged. He know where he going. Okay, that's why he wants you to go with him. So when the Bible says that God is the God of all flesh, is that he's going to judge everybody. He's the judge over everyone. That means that you're going to meet him, whether you believe in him or not, whether you believe in Jesus, whether you serve Jesus, whether you gave your life over to Christ, whatever the case might be, whether you was an atheist, whether you was in witchcraft, whether you was a, a Buddhist, or whatever the case might be. You left in your flesh, and so you're going to have to meet God. And he's going to judge you and send you either to heaven or hell. This is what it means when it says that God is the God of all flesh. God is over everybody. Okay? And he'll use anybody. Okay? God used the Muslim to bless me. He'll use an unbeliever to bless you, love. God will use anybody. Because he can. Because he's the God of all flesh. He could turn any man heart towards you to bless you if that's what he want to do. He could stop a lady right now walking in this store and turn her around and say, go give this girl sitting in this chair right here $20. She, he could do it. I was sitting at McDonald's the other day. And a man walked in and he said, I work for God. God sent me here to bless you. Can I buy you something from, from, do you want, can I buy you something to eat out of here? See? I'm talking about this man had all kind of stuff hanging around his neck. Idols and <laughs> all kind of feathers and all this other crap. Because he looked, he looked to be homeless too. He had all kind of gadgets and stuff hanging around his neck. But he came in, he said, God told me to bless you. Walked right up to me with them, with them very words. He didn't say, hey, how you doing, ma'am? He didn't say that. He walked up, God told me this, 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 and that. What can I get you? He gave, he bought me the quarter cheese and he left. He left. He ain't trying to sit in front of me and talk to me and holler at me. <laughs> no. It's how God do it. He's the God of all flesh. So you're going to have to meet him, love. So you may as well accept Jesus now as your Lord and Savior and live for him. So at least when you meet him, when you leave, you know where you're going. All right? Be blessed.